Strong Enterprises produces two basic harness designs, the fully adjustable harness and the aerobatic harness. Refer to your manufacturer's manual for proper procedures for fitting. In general, here are some suggested guidelines. Whenever you put the parachute on, put it on like you're going to need it. Put your rig on before you get into your aircraft to ensure a comfortable and proper fit. Most harnesses have at least three adjustment points, one on the chest and one on each leg. If you are putting the parachute on for the first time, unsnap the hardware on the straps, loosen the three adjustment points, and slip your arms through the main lift web, the vertical strap in front, much like putting on a jacket. Next, reach between your legs, pick up each leg strap, untwist them if necessary, and snap them in place on each side of the lower portion of the main lift webs. Lean forward, pull the leg straps below your hips, and tighten them snugly, yet comfortably, around your thighs. Finally, snap and adjust the chest strap. Fold and stow the webbing ends in the elastic keepers. You know, I make sure that my chute is tight. The straps are correct when I put them on every time. There was no issue at all when the chute opened as far as discomfort. Be sure the ripcord handle is securely stowed, yet accessible. A fully adjustable harness allows you to custom fit your harness. These harnesses have additional adjustment points. Take up the slack in the main lift web, the vertical straps, by pulling on the harness ends located just above the leg pads. Next. Adjust the horizontal back strap located behind you at the leg junction to come in contact with your back. This strap need not be tight for a comfortable fit. Once in the aircraft, fasten your seatbelt assembly over the parachute harness, making sure no seatbelt straps go through any part of the parachute harness. Um, it's, it's important that when you're going on a cross-country trip that you don't just put it on your back in order to get it from point A to point B. Every time I would put my parachute on, I would put it on with, with the assumption that if I have to use it, that it's going to stay on my body, not hurt me when it deploys, and work properly. Did you know? FAR 91.307 talks about parachutes and parachuting, details the types of emergency parachutes, and covers required inspections as well as when parachutes are required to be worn.